Hey, this is Connor with Congruent X, and today I'm gonna show you how to use layout containers in your apps. All right, so to get started, let me show you where to add a layout container. So if you go to the plus button here, drop down layout, you'll see there are two different types of containers here. There's the horizontal container and the vertical container. It really doesn't matter which one you pick, you can change it afterwards. Uh, in this case, let's use a horizontal container. I'm just gonna resize this a bit. So the great thing about containers is they're kind of like galleries, but they're for pictures and controls and literally anything else you could think of. So for now, I'm just gonna throw in some icons. All right, let's just kind of go down here and explore what these different things do. So the justify, uh, we have a left offset. We have a right offset. So you can see what that's doing. There's a center and then there's a space between. And so the space between is nice because it will make the space between the different items in your container the same. So it'll automatically evenly space. And then if I make my container a little bigger here, we can explore the vertical alignment. So we have justification, horizontal, we have alignment, which is vertical. So right now it defaults to the top. We have bottom we have center and we have stretch. So if we go down one more, there's a concept of a gap. Um, and so the gap is gonna be the distance between the different elements you have in your container. So if I put in, let's say 20, you can see we have a gap, not at the beginning and not at the end, but in between. So there is a concept of wrapping and there's a concept of overflow. So with the overflow, we can actually have it hidden like it is by default, or we can have it scroll. So if we're in the app, we can actually scroll and it'll show us the full kind of the, the full size of this section here. There is a concept of wrapping too. And depending on your settings, it'll wrap differently. So if we have a left justification, it'll wrap to the left, center, center, right. And then the uh, space between is kind of straightforward. It would take hours to to actually, you know, manually code these icons to do this in, in Canvas apps. This is an incredibly powerful tool. And lastly, I think I just wanna show here that you can easily switch between vertical and horizontal containers. And do notice here, justify and align, they do change depending on horizontal, vertical. So if we go to the vertical, our justification is now based on vertical. The alignment is based on the horizontal. All right, so now let's dig into the individual items in our containers because we actually have more settings that are based on the container in there. So to start, I wanted to show you the um, alignment and container property here. So we're in a horizontal container now, so I can still actually individually control if the this specific item is aligned at the top or in the center, at the bottom, or if it stretches. So I'll show you that. So we got top, center, bottom, and stretch alignment at a individual level. Now, one thing to take note is you cannot control the alignment if you have wrap on. So watch what happens when I turn wrap on. The, um, the parent, the container will always take over if you have wrap on. And the next thing I wanted to show you is flexible width, which is really nice. This is, um, this is, Kind of the same as space between, but not exactly. Let's go turn on wrap as well. So what's nice about being able to control the width is we have even more possibilities for the different layouts here. So like if I'm just using wrap and space between, this is nice, but you can see that um, the outer items are smashed up against the side of the screen. So what if I wanted every item centered, including the space on the outside, right? I can go to, let's just select all of these and add flexible width. So you'll see that it's going to dynamically set the width of these items. And as I resize, it'll adjust. And one thing you'll notice, if I turn flexible width on, you'll see a new section comes up fill portions. And so that's how we can actually favor different items in our container. We can give them more or less space. So right now you can see each item 
is defaulting to one of six portions because I have six items in here. Let's say I wanted the edit icon to have a little bit more space. If I add three, you'll see it gives a little bit more width, right? And you'll see now it says three of eight, and that's because I added two portions, right? The default is one, I set it to three, I added two portions. So now we have eight total portions. It's not super important to know the math of it. Just try a couple different things and whatever you're looking for, go for it. So there's one last little tip I wanted to show you and um, it's a small detail, but when I first started using these, I ran into this and I was really confused. I was like, this is not working. What am I doing wrong? Uh, so I'll add a horizontal container and I'll add some pictures and you'll see that this happens. This was uh, really confusing to me because I thought it would just automatically resize them, which the container by default will resize the, the width of the items in it, but only to a point. And this brings us to our last kind of property I'm gonna talk about is um, minimum width. So if you'll notice if I enable flexible width, the width property actually changes to minimum width. So I have to set a lower minimum width if I'm already getting overlap. So let's say the smallest we would ever want these pictures to be is maybe 60 pixels wide. So you can see now it resized. And if I make this smaller, it'll shrink until we get to the point of 60 pixels wide, which is very small as you can see. And all of what I've covered works exactly the same with vertical containers. You just kind of have to flip your axes. All right, well, I think that's all I have to go over about layout containers. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out uh, to either me or just go to our website, congruentx.com. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.